I need to work on form former one. Again, there's no former one on the fuselage plan page, and the one that's on page three is oversized. So I put it up against this would be former one. I put it up against here to get an idea of how much oversized. And I marked lines where the side should be. As you can see, it's about an eighth of an inch or so. So what I'm gonna oh and then lengthwise I've already cut this, but lengthwise it was about three sixteenths of an inch. And bottom I've already cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to just kind of sneak up on this. I'm gonna start out cutting an eighth on each side, and I have to assume, since I don't have any of the reference, I have to assume that it's gonna be an even amount off of each side. The top, I'm not sure what to do about that because I've already, cutting off the bottom here, I've already made it the correct size, so I don't know if I need to reduce the top or not. So for starters, I'm just gonna kinda of take an eighth off of each side and kind of play with it and see how it goes. The balsa brace I measured from this former here. That's the former one that I was trying to make, trying to make. And I just measured that and that gave me something. I'm assuming that this is the top of the fuselage up here. So that gave me uh, a base from where to start. If I know this is right, I could kind of work everything else out. So I got F1 pretty much flushed out. It took a while, a lot of measuring. I was comparing off of former, uh, former two and noticing that the top is a little bit down from former two. Basically what I ended up doing was making the edge of former one uh, in line with this uh, the ply doubler so I've got something I think it's gonna work it's about as good as I can do it's just in position here now kind of sandwiched with this uh, balsa brace it took a lot of a lot of fiddly trial and error so that's why I didn't bother videoing any of it but it is doable F1 is still, it's just placed in position. So I started working on some of the interior, what the instructions call the forward and the aft fuel tank compartment floor. What's interesting about that is there's actually two pieces. There's what looks to be the floor and then what looks to be the top piece. Now, if you look at what the floor is, it has this centerpiece. Well, I don't know how you're gonna get a fuel tank in with these two centerpieces. So, I think these are the bottom. The only problem is, these up here, the sizing, they fit the top. They don't fit the bottom. And there's no other um, flooring shown on the plans. So you're kind of left to your own devices here. So this is what I did. This is the top piece, but the sides have been cut down I think it's about three eighths of an inch on each side. It's quite a bit. So that fits in fairly well. Now there's also a quarter inch piece, which I have made up. This is where the wing bolts in. I've made it up. I haven't really done much with it yet. So this piece fits in like so. This would be one floor and then as you can see, I've added the area for the battery to sit in. And this will be the firewall here for the electric motor. And also, I had to cut this one down significantly on the sides to get it to fit. 
So that looks good so far. And then these are the plan size cutouts. But what I've done is I've removed that center section because this is where the battery is gonna go in. They fit roughly like so. The battery hatch is gonna go right about here. And I'll incorporate this former into the battery hatch. So these two pieces right here will probably be removed at some point. I haven't quite fleshed all that out yet how I wanna do it. I do wanna keep this in here as support since the battery hatch will take away a little bit of the structural strength on the top. At this point, I want to go ahead and start working on adding the aft formers. Now, I'm not going to have the balsa all the way to the back. My intention is to just have the balsa side to match up with the ply doubler, and then I'm going to use stringers to the formers, sheet the top, sheet the bottom, and I think that should give me good strength. That's my plan right now. So to do that, I want to actually raise the fuselage up so it's all level as it is on the plan. So I have measured, I've marked a line all the way back, starting with the quarter inch uh, gear mounting plate. And that's basically my little spacer that I have here. So that starts there, and then I measured from the datum, which was nice for them to draw in. Measure down, and that comes out, uh, or start there, and then it comes out, I think it's five inches. So I drew five inches from the datum down. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to make some sticks to raise the fuselage up and back. So I'm measuring now, what I'm measuring from is the former where it rests against the top stringer down to my drawn line. And I'll cut some sticks here and maybe here, but at least here to raise the fuselage up to level. So I've got the formers centered up just about as well as I could do. Actually, I'm pretty happy with most of it. You just barely see a little bit there. You can't see any of the top of a laser here. It's being blocked. But let's see another test for straightness. Let's see how well the top stringer lines up. I haven't done this off camera, so I don't even know how well it's gonna look. Let's see. All right, I think 
think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's try it from the other end. All right, I'm fairly happy with that. It's got a slight curve here, and I guess not too bad. Now, the right, let's see if I can show you this. The right side string is pretty straight. It, uh, it worked okay, just a slight amount of waviness. However, the left side did not quite work as well. There is a little bit of a wave right here, and I believe that's because of this ply doubler. It probably need to be sanded down a little bit. Now normally, if I was gonna sheet this whole fuselage, I wouldn't worry about that. However, with this model, I intend on sheeting just the turtle deck and then the sides for the full airplane are going to be fabric. I will have some stringers I've drawn in so that all you see are some stringers. You don't actually see the, the uh, formers themselves. So that means that I will need to have a straight stringer basically from here back. I think the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the stringers on the turtle duck. That'll give me some strength for this. Before doing that, I went in and I added some supports uh, to the formers, making the uh, back end of the fuselage here really rigid so it doesn't move around while I add these stringers. It's, it's pretty secure now. One thing I didn't mention, I didn't actually glue in these side stringers. I probably got some glue on them from when I was tacking in. But these side stringers actually need to go all the way to the back, I think. I'll have to look at that again. But anyway, these are not permanently installed yet. I am going to go ahead and permanently install the turtle deck stringers. Cut these out later. Probably going to require a little bit of adjustment to my slots. I'm going to use a one eighth inch, one eighth inch thick piece of hardwood, 60 grit glued to it. And it's the same width as the stringer. So it should tell me when I get as far as I need to go. I alternated adding the stringers to each side of the center stringer to help prevent warping the fuselage. I think I'm at the point where I can glue in my balsa fuselage sides. To get ready for that, I'm going to remove these two so they don't interfere, and I'm going to provide a little more support up to the front here. You can see it's a little bit wobbly still. So I've pre-clamped everything up to see about clamp placement. Everything looks good. I'm gonna use wood glue for this and I wanna put the wood glue on the balsa instead of try to get it on the ply. So I'm gonna outline the open area so I don't get any glue there. On the top, I'm not going to get the glue all the way to the edge because I don't want to glue in my stringer yet. I'm leaving it there as a placeholder so I know how far up to stick the sheeting, but I don't actually want to glue it in just yet. Now this balsa side was cut oversized. I give myself a little bit of room to play with for trimming. I did better with this one.
been about an hour and a half or so, give or take. The glue, I think, is set enough to where I can start taking the clamps off and removing the balsa stringer. And I'll go ahead and transfer these stringers to the rear. Now, I'm just going to have the stringer actually per the plan goes all the way front to back. Uh, I don't have stringers long enough to do that. I don't like splicing, but it doesn't matter. What I really need is a stringer from F4, the back of the canopy, back to where the end of the tail is. This is what I need to work on now. And then I'll use a separate stringer from here forward. These stringers need to basically blend into the rear, the tail post, like this. I ended up putting off the work on the stringers at the tail post until a later time. The next update, the turtle deck is sheeted and the access hatch for the motor battery is constructed.